for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break in your sweet you're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, Baby, real free I wanna make you sweat on me I wanna make you sweat on me I got you wrapped around my finger But don't you try to call me Just watch me break in You got a free pass, oh Try to hide it, but you had me from the get-go Let me be free, I'm not that complicated If you need me, what's the use of playing games, no There's no denying Listen, don't you do that The main one, don't you worry Good boy, good girl Number one. <laughs> number one, and it's not a new horse, I promise. Good boy. Good girl, mate. That looks so big, and she looks so small. <laughs> Don't leave his nostril alone. We got Mitz. Mitz is not really bothered about him. You, you missed that. Wait till you see someone else. <laughs> <laughs> she says, well, where's me rubber mat in and me food? I don't really want to eat that. I just... Go get your hay net, Mitz. No. Guys, Mitz is borrowing a stable for today. Hi, guys, and welcome back to this week's vlog. Apologise if my throat sounds a little bit croaky today. I've got a bit of a sore throat. I feel like I say that quite a bit. It's something that I suffer with, though. I went to a festival on Saturday, which was absolutely incredible, up in Cardiff to see Becky Hill. Definitely recommend going to see Becky Hill if you guys are thinking about it or if you guys like her. She is amazing. I would definitely go and see her again. I had such an amazing time. We didn't actually know we was going to a festival, though. We thought we was just purely going to see Becky. Um, but yeah, it did not disappoint. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but I think with all the singing and everything like that, done my throat in just a bit and I'm very tired because there was a hold up 
on the M5, which we were sat in traffic at standstill for four and a half hours due to an accident. Um, and we didn't get home until quarter past five in the morning and I was living on two hours sleep. So I was very, very tired and I think it's just catching up with me now. But anyway, it was definitely worth going. But let's get on to today's vlog. So today you will have seen Mittens has been loaded up and she's gone and reunited with Dan, which is just lovely. Done the vlog a little bit different because I started to vlog off with them and now I'm talking. Whereas normally I obviously do it the other way around. So I hope you guys have liked that bit of a different sort of beginning of a vlog but yes mitten has come out for a day trip because i've got the saddle fitter coming later um for both the horses now if you're wondering what's happening with dan i've basically got the vet coming out tomorrow um obviously i've been walking him out for seven weeks i've still got to do his walk today i normally do it every morning if you guys saw my last vlog you will know but i needed to be up early to go and get mitten so i just mucked dan out this morning so i need to take him out for a walk today and I've got tomorrow morning to do him. Hopefully, touch wood, all being well. That'll be the last time I'll be walking him out in rehab tomorrow. Just got to see what the vet says to see if she's happy with him. I'm really hoping she is because the next step means I can get on him, which is super exciting. I can't explain to you how excited I am for this moment to come. Hopefully, it'll be tomorrow. Um, I'll be doing uh, another vlog, a uh, separate video of like the vet coming and the outcome and if we can start the next step or not. Trying not to get my hopes up too much though, because obviously if he's not ready to be sat on yet, which is absolutely fine, obviously, um, I just don't want to get my hopes up and then be absolutely gutted. So yeah, as much as I'm like really excited, I'm trying my hardest not to get my hopes up, but keep your fingers crossed for us guys. But I want to make sure that regardless whether I can get on Dan as from tomorrow, obviously it's only going to be walking him, if I can get on him from tomorrow, if I can't get on him for another month, I want to make sure that his saddle fits him. Now, I had the saddle fitter out in April to have Dan checked and fitted, blah, blah, blah. Um, and she actually came out two weeks before he went lame. But obviously, he's changed shape from being out of work. He's lost all of his muscle. He's not as fit. He was super, super fit and muscled when the saddle fitter last saw him. Um so obviously his saddles are not going to fit him so i want them fitted i want to make sure they're all okay so that when i can get on him i don't have to worry about them not fitting and also if this if the vet does allow me to get on him from tomorrow i don't want to be waiting like another few weeks for the saddle fitter to come out so the saddle fitter i've been so lucky that she's been able to come out before the vet comes which is just amazing obviously if he's not ready to come back on it doesn't matter that his saddles have been fit fitted today because he's not going to change that much shape in like four weeks time so i'll still be fine um like it'll be still be fine in four weeks time if i still can't use saddle if that makes sense so yes got the saddle fitter coming out for dan i'm gonna have obviously his jump saddle is the one that i'm wanting to be riding him in but i'm not sure if he isn't a little bit bigger weight wise than what he was when i got the saddle and with the jump saddle you can't adjust it so i'm not sure if we'll be riding in that one just yet it might be the gp because i can adjust that not really sure we'll have to wait and see um and then Mitten has got the saddle fitter out for her. So Julia actually only saw Mittens two or three weeks ago. I mentioned in one of the vlogs I was hoping for Dan's GP to fit Mittens because it used to be hers. Now Julia said she could get it to fit her, but she'd have to take the saddle back with her and readjust it because obviously it's been all cut away for Dan. So she'll have to re un undo it, kind of undo the work what she'd done for him so it'd fit her. Um but so i said no so i said yeah that's fine so she took the saddle away with her and then me and my mum was talking about it and we was like actually i don't think it's a good idea because dan's quite hard to find a saddle that was would fit him and we was thinking about getting him, him like a proper show saddle or another gp um but because he is quite hard we was like it might be harder to find him a saddle it might be better to get mittens a saddle and just keep the gp so we rang Julia up and spoke to her about it and she said the thing is she says I can undo this saddle now for mittens but I'm not going to be able to recut it away for Dan if you change your mind. So I just said no let's not do it let's just keep the GP saddle for Dan and we'll get a different one for mittens. So that is basically the plan so Julia's still got my GP that she'll be bringing down today 
and she's also meant to be bringing down some saddles um for mittens now she done with the bar and like over the withers and things she has written up like the size and everything like that so she's already got all of the details so she said she'll try and rummage around and find some saddles that she think will possibly fit mittens so that's what she's bringing down today for mitt so hopefully we'll come away today with an actual saddle for mittens which is really exciting because I've been super lucky to be able to ride in the Trula saddle because if I didn't have it, I wouldn't be able to ride her. But it's just not ideal. And now once I actually get the proper saddle for her, I'm going to be able to up my work with her um, and do a little bit more with her. So super excited for that. So fingers crossed we do have a saddle for her um, and yeah, get Dan sorted. And yes, so Mittens has obviously had to come down this morning, I think I've already mentioned, because we wouldn't have enough time to bring her down later. But I'm going to be taking Mittens out for a hack today. I was going to wait until I got my new saddle, but she's not coming until a lot later on, so I think I'm going to ride her beforehand. Um, I might be taking Eloise out, I'm not sure. I'm going to be taking Mittens for a ride today. It'll be quite nice to ride somewhere different. And... The plan was to bath her, but I don't think it's going to be warm enough. Dan had a bath yesterday um, because it was a lovely day and I was hoping to do it with mitts because she's very smelly, but uh, we're not going to be doing it today. Very much doubt unless at lunchtime it warms up. So, yeah, that's kind of our day. I thought I'd bring you guys along um, and let you guys see mittens and Dan reunite. Unfortunately, Dawn has them, which is really sad. But yes, so I've got to go to the shop and get some cakes because I always take cakes for the saddle fitters. And that's that's basically my day. So I've come back home. Mittens is absolutely fine down there. I've come back home because I had to come back and get my car. And I will go back down there in a bit. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Um, trying to keep it short and sweet because I'd quite like to get it out tomorrow night. Okay guys, so I'm going to go to Lidl's. It's about 10 minutes away from here and I'm going to go and get, what do they like? Pecan slices. I'm going to get iced donut, um, else? cookies. I'm just going to get a load of stuff because I know Julia will have pecan slices. They are literally her favourite. I can never remember Joe because basically we have, I've mentioned before, but we have two. So we have Julia and then we have Joe who works with Julia. They're both absolutely lovely. And Julia always goes for pecan slices, always has done. Joe, I literally can never remember what she gets. Um, and then I'll have the sprinkled donut. Um, so yeah, so I need to go and get them. And I think that's all I need to get. And then I'm going to go down with oh i've also got to go <laughs> so i've had dan's jump so i've had both of dan's saddle the gp and the jump saddle under the stairs since april because normally it stays in my car but no i've had them since april at home then obviously i took the gp down when the saddle fitter come out a few weeks ago for mittens and she took it with her but i've took all of my girths and all of my other horse stuff that i normally have under the stairs to our friends which you guys might remember that in one of the vlogs and then I forgot that I need the jump saddle because it's been such a long time. So late last night, we was like, oh my God, we need to get the jump saddle out. And then I was like, oh no, we've got no girths for him. Obviously, I'm not going to be getting on him today, but we need to have the girths on. So I need to go to our friends, who's luckily only a minute up the road, to go and get Dan's jump girths. So I've got to go and do that on the way to the yard once I've been to Lidl's. So that's what I'm off to go and do um and then yeah i'll either go and do dan's walk and then ride mittens i'm not really sure to be honest guys i've got literally the whole day so just kind of see how my days my day goes and you guys are just gonna come along with me right so i've just arrived at little so i'm gonna go in now and get what i need hopefully they have what i want um so yeah let's go and get them very very tired guys very quick turnaround guys i last saw you when i was going into littles i've got the cakes i've gone and got my girths and i'm now on mitzi moo we have crossed the main road um and we're just coming up the hill i always thought because obviously i have ridden these roads before with dan when i had him 
on loan and I kept him here for three months. So I kind of briefly know, and me and my friend Maisie used to ride out. But I thought this hill was a lot steeper than what it is and it isn't. And she's just absolutely loving life. So um, I'm not actually sure where I'm going to go because although I have ridden the roads, I always used to ride them with someone because I was never allowed to ride out with Dan on my own because I was only like 12 at the time. Um, and it was many years ago when I've ridden up here. So don't really know where I'm going, only roughly, but we're just going to keep going. At this moment in time, the furthest we've ridden is just over four miles. So, um, yeah, but I'm just going to see how she's going. But she is just going absolutely amazing, as I mentioned when LJ was riding her. So we're just going along with it. We're still doing our trotting. We're doing quite a bit of trotting now. Um, and, yeah, we've got Stan here in the Good girl, hang on a minute.
Oh, she's just been incredible. We're not back yet. We're on our way back and Mittens, I don't know if you guys know, but Mittens isn't good with big stuff like lorries, tractors, big stuff like that. Cars, transit vans, she's as good as gold with. Um, it is something that Mittens has always struggled with is big, big stuff. Now, years ago when I used to hack her out before I even had Dan, when she was my main pony, we used to ride around the back lane. We used to do quite a bit of hacking, but it was all like back lanes. We never, we were very lucky that we never had to ride on the main road. Um, and we never really saw, even on the back lanes, we didn't really see any tractors. But prior to that, where I had her, I took her along the main road. I took my things along a main road, a lorry cut, she took me up the hedge. Now I was only about nine or 10 at the time. Um, and it frightened me to death. And when Mitten's done stuff, it used to petrify me basically but i mean i'm a lot older now i'm a lot taller and i'm a lot stronger which i think has definitely shocked her um and dan has given me so much confidence it's all down to him why, why i've got confidence to ride her now that she doesn't actually phase me with anything um so i don't really have to ride on the main road if i don't want to at home but there is one bit of a ride, which I like to do with her just because it's short and it was to get her going, where you have to go along the main road. And I thought, we've just got to do it. And I'm not going to like worry myself about it if something big comes up because we will just deal with it when it happens, you know? So I've been riding her along the main road. I mean, it's hardly anything what I have to ride her along. Um, and we have met two tractors, which she has spun with me. But the second time I managed to stop her because I didn't expect it the first time because I didn't know what she was going to do. Because obviously with her being out on loan, she's done a bit of hacking, but where she was kept, you didn't really have to go on the main road. So I wasn't sure what she was going to be like to see a tractor, if she was going to be absolutely fine with it or if she was going to be still the same. So I was like, it will be interesting when we meet something big because she'll either be absolutely fine with it and she's over come it or she hasn't and yeah she spun with me the first time but the second time I stopped her because I could feel her doing it um but then the other day I was riding along I tried to come along and what I like to do is I like to put her in a place where it's big enough that if she does get a bit silly and it's not her being naughty it is because she's generally scared um, I like to put her in a big place that if she does do something like it doesn't matter we're in a safe place and there was a gateway and I thought the gate was open but it wasn't so it wasn't very big where the tractor could get by and she just freaked out spun started cantering down the road I turned her back around the tractor was amazing turned his engine off and sat and waited for us and I turned her back around and um yeah walked her well, she was silly, but I managed to get her past the tractor and she was fine. So it's just like the more she sees it and she gets used to it and realises it is actually not scary, the better she's going to be. So on there is a bit of main road that you have to do on these rides, which I'm not worried about doing with Dan because he's like I could take him up the motorway. I wouldn't want to ride him up the motorway, but I could take him up the motorway and nothing phases him. With mittens, it'd be a different story. Um, so I'm not worried about taking Dan up the main road, but there is more main roads that you have to ride on out here. Um, so I thought, we'll just go on the back roads. And then I was like, you know what? We're just gonna do it. There's this massive lay-by that you can ride up, which is right next to the main road. I'll take her up that bit and then we'll only have a short bit of main road we've got to do, which we can trot. And if we meet something, we'll just have to deal with it, you know? So riding along, there are buses coming by, lorries coming by i'm just constantly stroking her praising her telling her she's a good girl um she was just absolutely awesome i took her along the main road when i was actually on the main road we didn't pass anything but i stood still to come onto the main road and we saw two buses 
what a little legend she was she was brilliant i'm so proud of her like just amazing and i think as well i have the confidence with her as well so i'm not i'm not getting nervous when i see something big coming up towards us i'm trying to be as chilled as possible because i don't want her to be scared of it and just constantly praising her and she was just absolutely brilliant but my just spoke to my mum on the way out and she was like don't go on the main road because there's going to be lots of buses and lorries and what did we go and do mitts we went and rode on the main road didn't we girl so proud of her honestly absolutely buzzing with that <laughs> So I mentioned I was planning on giving her a bath because she's absolutely minging and I can't bath her at home just because we've got no water. Um, so yeah, that was the plan. But it's not cold, but it's not warm enough to have a bath basically. So I'll have to bring her down another time and give her a proper bath. Um, so she just had a wash down basically where she was sweaty with her saddle and she's now popped back into the stable well she's whinnied a few times just because i brought dan out but dan whinnied quite a bit when um, i brought mittens out so yeah we're just doing it now because it's currently two o'clock so we'll be back by quarter to three because the last vlog you would have seen would have been my routine vlog um where i showed you guys what dan's box press routine is and i can't remember if i was doing 35 minutes or 40 minutes but we're now on 45 minutes we started it last wednesday so we'll be a week tomorrow um because we have to make sure we've done a whole week of 45 minutes before the vet comes out which tomorrow we will have completed um so yes but as you can see he's absolutely starved oh mister um so yeah so we're off to do that now Everybody, I didn't film when I got straight back because everyone was up oh, made me jump then, Dan. Everyone was at the yard and I didn't want to get my camera out. So I just got a snippet of her in her stable after being washed off. Um, and then it started raining, so I was like, oh, we won't go out yet. And I needed a drink. But it's now spitting, like walking. Um, so yeah, so I'm not going to film too much. But yeah, we're going to go and do our walk now. I've just given him two minutes where he can stand up here and eat grass, which I have showed you in the last vlog. But also, I have to psych myself up to walk him back down because he was just a little bit silly then, um, which it was not called for, and it's not fun. So he yeah, has two minutes here, and it's to psych myself up to walk back down. 
hopefully not much longer of doing this just today get today over and done with and hope hopefully fingers crossed tomorrow morning's the last day of walking them in hand okay guys so i'm now sat in the car the horses are all done there's literally nothing else i can do with them until the saddle fitter comes um, i'm going to take my car i'm not going to go home i mean i'm minutes away from home anyway but now nah, once i get home i won't want to leave because it's raining if you can't already hear it so um yeah i'm just going to stay here also our saddle fitter is normally always early a few weeks ago for mitten she was meant to be here for half 11 she got there just before 11 so even though she says between quarter past four and half four she could be here at like quarter to four so i'd rather just stay here um but obviously i went to Lidl's earlier and got the cakes but i haven't showed you guys so i've got a mixture because obviously there's two of them come in um and then my mum will be here i will be here my granddad's currently here so and i just you can just have a, a selection basically now i've got quite a lot first up i've got the pecan slices um which are julia's favorite she always goes for these so i always make sure she's got the pecan slices <laughs> and then here i've got two oh I can't see they're like cookies so i've got a white one and a chocolate one because i'm pretty sure joe the other lady i'm pretty sure she likes one of them so i thought i don't know which one it is because normally my mum goes and gets the cakes so i thought i'll get a white one and a chocolate one and she can slide if she wants both she can have both it's fine we don't need them then this i feel like will be everyone's favorite is the pink sprinkled donuts now this is what i tend to go for is the pink donuts as well um so i got two of them and then and it's also a safe option that most people like them and then in here, I just got two Rocky Rose. Because I feel like everyone likes Rocky Rose. I love a Rocky Rose. Um, and then I, I got drinks. So we normally like to supply them with drinks. But I didn't really know what to get them. So I just got them Pe Pepsi Max. I absolutely love Pepsi Max. All I live on. Um, so I've got enough of them. And I also got myself some Red Bull. Because I know it's bad for you guys. I know it's bad i shouldn't be drinking it but i am obsessed with red bull and i love it and i need it for energy so i just got some of them um which i'll take home with me don't worry guys I won't be drinking all four of them today but um yeah i just picked them up so yes that is what i have bought from little okay guys so we're now just waiting for the saddle fitter i'll try and get a few clipped if i can um but yeah, they're both very happy. I've brought the cakes up and we've also had a phone call from the vet to tell us what time she'll be coming tomorrow. And she's not coming until half past four, um, which works out perfectly. We was hoping it'd be around that sort of time. But I will be vlogging it, but it's just going to be in a separate video and it will. I will try and get it out as soon as possible after this vlog hey guys the saddle fit has been we have a new saddle for mittens which is so excited i've already had it on her um and it's basically i'll show you it it's right here it's basically the exact same as dan's but um meaning the same as dan's gp but it's a lot wider than dan's dan's wasn't wide enough so it's basically an ideal gp general purpose in brown um same size as dan and everything it's just a lot wider <laughs> um but she said the last time she saw her which was only about three weeks ago um she has lost weight which is a really good thing the thing is i actually think weight wise like around her belly she's okay it's just getting rid of her crusty neck but i know it does take time to get rid of the crusty neck um so yeah but julia has said that it has gone down his ne her neck since the last time she saw her but i think just from where we see her every day we don't take any notice but yeah the saddle's amazing it's so nice to ride in a proper leather saddle um so yeah absolutely love it and it now means that we can take her for her first canter i just didn't want to do it in the treeless because i wasn't fully happy with it and it's not the sturdiest to take her for a canter just in case she um throws some shapes which i don't know if she will but just because she hasn't done it in a long time for excitement so yeah really excited now i'm able to just up her work um so yeah amazing dan's had both of his saddles checked um and she she said the gp fits him but they're at the minute just 
for like the first couple of weeks because he's going to be constantly changing shape once I do get on him um she says the jump one's better at the moment but I am able to ride him in the GP but to be honest I never ride him in the GP anyway I only ever use it for showing and I'm not going to be going out competing or doing anything like that until next year so I only ever ride in my jump saddle anyway so yeah my saddles are fine and basically good boy I can crack on with them his face lit up when he saw the saddle so um yeah as soon as i get the go ahead with the vet i can crack on with them and yeah really happy with my new saddle so i'm actually really impressed as well i brought loads of different long girths for mittens because i wasn't sure what size she'd be in so i brought all the different sizes I and mean, then she's in a 44 girth which i'm so impressed with i thought she'd be easily in a 48 maybe a 46 but i am going to get her a anatomical one like where's dan's dan's is here he has the Lemur, good boy Dan, he has the Lemur gel one. Um, so this is his long girth that he has for obviously his GP. And I've also got him the same one for his jump one as well. So I want to get the same four mittens. Um, obviously they're not the cheapest, so she can wait a little bit. Um, so at the minute she's just riding this, which is absolutely fine. But Julia did say that an anatomical will be better for her. Um, so yeah but i can't use dan's if you're wondering because dan's is a bigger girth than mittens is so she will have to have her own else i could share it because he only uses it for showing and when i use a gp but you're a good girl are you yeah so yeah very happy with the outcome guys here is my saddle it does need cleaning um but yeah it's basically ideal in brown basically the same as my gp it's just wider um so yeah obviously it's not a brand new saddle it's second hand but it's obviously new to us um so yeah very very happy with it she looks so much better than what she did um in the trailers <laughs> oh god it's just so nice to be riding in a leather and i cannot believe she's in a 44 girth that's crazy so i've just put my stirrups on and i'm just going to take her for a walk around the school um and i'm going to get some photos as well for some thumbnails as well okay guys so we're coming into the school now this is the first time riding mittens in the school we've worked out in about seven eight years so it's been a very very long time i also haven't ridden in the school since april just before dan obviously went lame um so yeah i was very rusty but i was trying to get mittens just on a little bit of a contact just kind of playing around for just seeing how she is obviously she hasn't been in a school well her accident was two years ago um but she never really went in the school when she was out on loan she mainly got hacked and she didn't get hacked that often so she hasn't done it for a very long time either but i'm quite impressed like i was just playing around and I did get her on some sort of contact, which is just amazing. Um, obviously, there's lots to work on. Um, but the more practice we do, I'm not going to be constantly schooling her. Don't worry, guys. But, um, yeah, just seeing how she's going, really. But just, yeah, playing around with her. And we had some nice shapes and really had her going quite nicely. And then there was moments where she was fighting against me. And she always used to put her tongue over the bit um, in the school and lock her neck and tank off with you, which, please to report, she didn't actually tank off with me, but she was sticking her tongue out over. She does wear a bomber bit, which is to basically try and stop her from putting the tongue over the bit. She wasn't putting the tongue over the bit because obviously she can't do it with the bit that she wears. Um, but she did keep sticking her tongue out, which isn't pretty, obviously, and she would try and snatch with the reins. But when she wasn't doing it, like, she was going really nicely, trying to get the bend here. Yeah, really happy with how she went on, and I think the more work we do, I think we'll get her going quite nicely. There you go, that's her snatching at the reins and sticking her tongue out, which is 
really not a pretty look but like i just said the more we do it um the better she c should get um going for a little trot she's got such pony strides that i'm still getting used to her also before she went out on loan and before i actually had dan we were working i was having weekly lessons with her schooling every tuesday um working on her contact and we did get her going really nicely and we were pursuing her a few times a week as well and yeah i did go up get her going quite nicely on a contact so i wasn't sure if she was actually gonna remember it and to be honest for her first time coming back in school i didn't expect her to pick up on it straight away so yeah really really happy with how she went and um yeah buzzing with her obviously she was ridden earlier on um going for a nice hack so it looks like i've done quite a bit with her but i promise guys i didn't we just had a little trot um a walk round, and i had a little mini cant with her um we've done it like two or three times because i wanted to try and get her going further but i need a schooling whip with her really just give her a little tickle but also we've got to remember that she did go for a hack so yeah there we go our first little canter such a good girl only a few strides but i don't care i'm so happy with it like i said she'd already been out for a ride Guys, so I didn't want to do too much i didn't want to push around. her either I had a little but, prop. yeah so a happy little with tiny canter. Only a few strides just bring her down regularly and i can school her in the sand school um but i'm actually really impressed because i got her in a little bit of a contact so it's just i mean she hasn't been in a school for i don't know how many years so very rusty as well she's a completely different pony to ride complete um compared to dan dan's very forward going i don't actually have to use much leg on him to get him to go um whereas mittens on another is another level she's like the complete opposite you've really got to um, keep your leg on her to get her going and although I used to ride her I used to be able to do it easy but it's been a long time so yeah I'm very rusty in the school to say the least and you are too missus but um yeah obviously I don't want to do loads and loads of schooling with her it's just seeing basically what she can do now and if she tells me no then that's fine we won't do the schooling side oh careful mate that was silly careful um but yeah very happy with her like i said we had a couple strides of canter but she was a good girl wasn't you so now it's currently six o'clock um but i want to clip dan's legs the plan was to do it on sunday his legs were meant to be clipped and his bridle path um but i forgot to charge the clippers saturday night and then i wanted to do it yesterday forgot to charge him sunday night so i finally charged him last night and he just needs a bit of a spruce up his legs was last done about nine weeks ago now i reckon um, and they desperately need doing again but i wanted to wait the week of the vet coming because i want his legs to be all freshly clipped so she can have a good look at his legs because they're so hairy it's quite hard to see so i like to do it a couple days in advance like what i was meant to do on sunday and um, so it's fresh for the vet vet to see his legs but the last time we clipped his legs there was not a much clipper oil and we haven't got any since just because i keep forgetting so i'm not sure if we're going to have enough to do them it's not the end of the world like i'm not doing it so he's smart for the vet i'm not worried about that um it is generally just to make it easier for her to see but it's not the end of the world if we can't but that's the plan is to clip the legs do bridal path once that done i will get down sorted and then mittens can go back home basically and then i can go home for tea because i'm very hungry so um yeah gonna check the clipper oil and then yeah if we've got enough we'll do it if not then it won't be being done can we've just got enough clipper oil guys so let me show you a before and then i'll just do an after you can see quite a lot has grown and i like to keep on top of it call this the spider they're so bad can't stand it this is his bad leg hopefully not bad anymore but you can see how much it's grown um yeah they've been needing doing for a couple of weeks but when we the longer we leave them the easier they're actually to clip um 
so yes that's his legs and then his bridal bath has grown so much so that's all that's being done i am gonna be i said in the last smart up vlog that i'm gonna get his mane done and i haven't but i desperately i'm actually gonna message zara but look how much this is growing back guys you'll remember like when plaiting i'll be like it's not long enough but let's get it clipped to your plan guys he's not being clipped <laughs> They haven't charged. We put them on charge last night and they haven't charged. So they're definitely not going to do his legs, especially how thick they are. No way. That's so annoying, Dan. Oh, well, I'll have to do it tomorrow night. After the vet's been, I'll have to do it tomorrow night and he'll be all fresh. Just a bit annoying because of the vet, but hopefully, hopefully she'll be able. It's just you can see better. We are going to see tomorrow. Um, She's not coming until half past four, but we're gonna see if we can just get this leg done the other three then can be done after like it's just that white one so you can see it so much better so we're gonna see if we can get that one clipped um just so that the vet can see and then we can do the rest after because i don't think we'll have enough time to do all four um but yeah we'll try and do that tomorrow so i'm just gonna sort down out now and then the things will be going home and just having his dindins don't worry guys i just gave mitts a handful of the fibre things because I felt guilty but he's got his extra net and I took his poos out he's got water um so he's all done now until the morning and I'll be up at about quarter past six I have been slacking the last four days because I'm normally up every morning at quarter past six to walk out and I'm still up earlier like I'm not late I just haven't been walking him out in the morning two days it being too windy I just didn't want to risk it with him it wasn't worth it so just done it in the afternoon Saturday I done it early morning like my normal time. Sunday I didn't do it until afternoon. Yesterday I done it afternoon. Then today, um, but I've only got fingers crossed. Touch wood, one more day left of doing it. But tomorrow we'll be back to normal because we've had bank holiday in that. So, and I've had today off. So, yeah, it's just been more slack. Whereas tomorrow I'm back to work like normal. So he will have done his walk and everything before I even go to work. So yes so in the next vlog we'll see dan um in the next video mittens won't be involved with it but yeah we are he's all done until the morning so we've just got to hitch up the trailer now and load mittens up and then we will be home well not home but we'll be back and then literally just got to give them hay feed put rugs on etc and then they'll be done it's probably about half six now so we should be home by eight in the morning down the man love you lot sleep tight let your mites bite me should get your bread look at that shine and those dapples good boy best boy aren't you yes love you lot <coughs> Ouch. 
you out. Yeah. Well, I'm making it a lot harder than what it is. Good girl. Aren't you? you go home to Dorney, he'll be happy to see you. There you go. Good girl. Right, let's get her home, guys. I've got to drive my car home. My mum's going to drive outside our house, and I'm going to get in the car and come and sort my things out at the other end. That's the plan, ignore my hair. We are back home after a long day. Dawny, you're a very happy girl, aren't you, to have your best friend back? Mittens didn't want to leave though. I think he was quite happy to stay there. Seven o'clock and we're back. Mittens, well, both of the Mittens and Dawn have been wearing rugs now over night time for about a week. The temperature's just dropped. It's literally a zero gram, but it's just getting a bit extra warmth. We've put Dawn's on. It ignore my hair guys because mitt has been obviously in all day so because i've upped her work she's being ridden five days a week um so she's starting to go out a lot more whereas before she'd only go out for like four hours or and then there might be days where she wouldn't go out now she does go out every day all day because she's exercising so it's not so bad um and obviously she would have gone out today if she didn't come down so she's going to be out all night tonight obviously she'll have the option to come up and go in her stable um but it will do her good to go out and have a proper leg stretch um, and we're going to let her have some grass because she has been a very good girl and does deserve it. Um, so we're just going to feed and yeah, she'll be out. I guarantee she'll be out all night now. She might come up and then tomorrow daytime she can stay in. But tomorrow she'll go out for a ride. I'm going to take her for a canter up the canter track. It's only, it's a really short track and it's flat. It's not hilly whatsoever. And it's going to be our first proper canter, which is going to be really exciting. I am tying up the hay net because it is a bit drizzly. She might decide to stay up here. So at least she's got something. But 99% sure she will go out. Pony's all done, just taking the trailer back now and then we'll be going home. But I'm gonna end this vlog because I didn't want it to be that long and I feel like it's gonna be quite a long video. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed it. It's kind of been spend the day with me. Hope you guys enjoyed our little hack that I done with mittens. I hope you also can see how well she's doing as well. Um Julia said how well she's looking and how well she's doing as well. Um and yeah, very happy with Mittens' saddle and can't wait to ride her in it properly tomorrow. Gonna take her for a little canter, as I've already mentioned. Um, and yeah, we'll be making sure I take Mitts down to see Dan because they've missed each other more than I think. Um, and to use the scorn things. So stay tuned for more videos. The next vlog, as you guys already know, will be um, the vet. So have your fingers crossed, wish us luck. I'll try and get that vlog out as soon as possible, hoping this vlog will be out tomorrow if I can get it all edited, but it is like gone seven o'clock and I've got to have tea yet, but I'm gonna try my best. Um, so if you guys have enjoyed this vlog, please make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.